that we're live. We got 3,000 people watching us right yeah. now. Oh. So all the They're pressure is right now. Oh. Nobody's so. watching, you know. Welcome. <laughs> Uh, no pressure, guys. No pressure. Just three thousand people. Don't worry. Oh, I'm so dead. I yeah. where? Yeah. Don't look at the nobody's comments. Nobody's watching. Where's the comments? Don't, look, don't, the don't, don't stare at the comments. Don't stare at the comments. Don't stare at the comments. Where's the comments? The comments. Where's the comments? What angle do you like? This angle? I like either or. Or this angle. They're both on my good side, so I'm good. I'm right. beautiful. So what can I? Say? All right, ladies. All right, all right. Let's start with uh, first name, birthday. I guess. Well, I, maybe not birthday. Why do you want to know my birthday? So we know what your what your sign is. I need to know your astrological sign. It'll tell me everything about your psychology. I thought you said you didn't believe in that. Yeah, when did I say I didn't believe in that? <laughs> I thought you said it's stupid, but okay. My name no, is okay. Aji. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Name, birthday, what you do for a living, and then uh, your education, and then also... How many relationships, serious relationships that you have? Serious ones. Serious, like, ones. Okay. Go. <laughs> Hi, my name is Aji Joe, born April 14th, so I'm an Aries. And um, I'm a student full-time, and I graduate soon in a few more days. And I got my business degree in early college, and... Um, Oh, wow. I do not want to answer the relationship question. Okay. Uh, you want to give an explanation as to why? You can just say why. Oh, this is so strong. No. <laughs> no? Just no? no? no okay. 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 Emotional damage. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about you? You want some sweetener on that? I'm Chloe. My name is Chloe. Nice to meet you, everyone. Um, my name is Chloe. Nice to meet you, everyone. You can hold that. But uh, yeah, Chloe, just my alter ego. My name is Fanny. I'm 23 years old. Unemployed, big time, not forever. What are other questions? Really? Are you unemployed? Yeah. I don't know, man. I, we employ you. You never know. I, I, you employ, never know. I employ you, right? Uh, but I'm cancer. You're cancer? Yeah. Okay. And I hate being cancer because this is way too emotional sign, they say. And it's true. I experienced some myself either. I'm crying on everything. <laughs> oh my God. What's the most emotional moment you've ever had in your life that, that you contribute to being this a cancer? This is so heavy. Yeah. You just worked out. Come on. Get some muscles in. The most emotional. I mean, I get really sensitive on everything. Like if someone dies, uh, in a TV serial, I'm definitely gonna cry in that moment. Oh my god! What the like fuck? I cry daily five times. Wait, wait, what movie? What, what show? What show have you cried on? Uh, Titanic, of course. Like if Titanic, like Leonardo every DiCaprio? show where are like dogs, mm -hmm. you know, and one dog dies, I'm gonna cry five minutes for sure. But I cried yesterday before that. Like, what'd you cry for yesterday? I don't know. I watched something, but I don't remember what. Wow. Yeah, but like really beautiful moments. It's, it doesn't need to be sad. Like, you know, oh, even okay. if like someone is getting married, I'm getting emotional because they seem so happy that it makes me happy. So I'm going to cry like, oh, this is what I want, you know, and then I'm crying my ass off. So you're empathetic. <laughs> I am. She's a very empathetic person. She's a strong empath. Yeah. Right. Like you, do you know what empathetic means? Of course. What does it mean? Uh, how should I explain like you put your feelings into that position you know yes and you feel there what you they feel I mean everyone feels differently for yeah. sure but I empathize with their feelings the feelings yeah no yeah. you nailed it that's exactly what it is it's literally to put yourself in other people's shoes right I always do so now let's get back to this Titanic one this is actually a good topic I actually want to hit this one this Titanic is good. Titanic yeah, you said Titanic. you cried for Titanic? Oh, yeah, the Titanic. I didn't cry. That's so movie. I would say the first, th the only thing that made me cry, like, television-wise, is When They See Us. That one, I was bawling my eyes off, and it's based off of a true event. Um, but the Titanic, I cried during the credits, and the reason why I cried is because I thought I was heartless. So I was like, really, everybody we talking about, they cry for this movie, and I didn't even cry. So, yeah. Oh. Wow, so you're... Are you the reverse of an empath or would you consider yourself? No, I'm okay. very empathetic with people like, All right. and I'm very like, well, I don't know. 
She's I don't know. Woman. Maybe I got distracted by a Leon. She's a strong by... woman and it shows no muscles. Yeah. Oh my god. Maybe I. I... Have. <laughs> yeah. All right, wait, wait, let's do a side by side comparison. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. So I have on this side, but on this side I don't. Jesus Christ. Okay. Chopstick queen. Chopsticks. Are you gonna Shut talk up. about how you um are in a relationship now? Oh my god, no, no, I'm we'll so there, happy we'll for you. Let's talk about why you're canceled. We'll get there. Okay, we'll, we'll, I think he's we'll in a relationship board. like one or two days because when I met him and it's like recently I met him, yeah. he was single. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was, yeah, I thought I he was, was married. One of the yeah, people they told I me they were like to they me. were like George. He married. he's married, but he like flirts Why all the time for tips. But yeah. Yeah, well, I tell everybody I'm I'm married to them. Oh, you I'm did. but I'm married to the mutt. No, <laughs> that's corny. I love myself. Um, no, I don't love myself. Aww. That's bad. What's your sign? No, no, no. First love. No, I, I don't. I don't love myself like that. But I, I, I have love in what I do and how I do it. He's passionate right. for and love. Passion. Guys. Passion. No, but we, we did. We did have like a hiccup last Somebody. week. Somebody. We did have like a hiccup within the, like the last week and all that. So like. Hook up. Uh no. Um, a hiccup. 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 Oh, what does that mean? Hiccup. It like means like. Uh, what have you done? No, no. It's like a. A temporary, like trying to really figure things out. Right? That's good. That's life. All right, so we'll get into that. By the way, let's get back to the Titanic, right? So you cried at the Titanic. Why did you cry at the Titanic? Because they died. That's sad. <laughs> the guy gave his so Leonardo DiCaprio and then the girl Rose, right? Do you guys remember the movie or not? Of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. They, like, so what do you think about that relationship? entirely actually i love it you love the relationship but all right why have, do you love the course, relationship because for them money and other stuff the rank was it doesn't matter for them everything what they had was the moment and the passion you know mm -hmm. and i think it's really important in life overall yeah. that there are so many marriages because of money and ranks still so this is not what I'm going for. I'm going for fashion. <laughs> okay. All right. You're saying that most marriages are built on just like money? Not most. I don't say that, but still oh, we have oh, but that. Some, that. some of them are built, some on, of them are built on that. I know a lot, mm -hmm. honestly. You know a lot? Yeah. Like, mean? I lived in China. I lived in Europe. I'm living now in New York. I met multiple people in my life. And like, for example, I remember I met someone in China and he told me his father has nine wives. Wow. He knows That's how a strong to live the... That's <laughs> yeah, a strong man, he's right? He's enjoying the life, you know, but it's probably not about love or it is, I don't know. I haven't well, What do you think about those relationships? Experience. Nine wives. About the relationship? Yeah. It's cool. Okay, would you want to be in that relationship? Uh, with nine wives? Yeah. Never. So would you rather... Only me. Okay, okay, here's a good question, here's a good question. Would you rather be in a relationship where, like, the man takes care of you and he has nine wives, or would you rather be on the boat next to Leonardo DiCaprio as Jack and have that passion, love, and then just die at the end? <laughs> Which one would you oh, rather be? That's so hard question. Like, <laughs> I want to live a long life, but happy life. But thanks God I don't have to choice. So I'm not going to. <laughs> but if you had to choose, what do you think would be the best option? Uh, which age happens with me? It depends on the age? Yeah, it depends on the age. Okay, like if so I'm if, dying okay. on the boat age 50, I'm going for it. You're going for the guy with the nine wives? Or you're going no, for, you're I going don't for know. Leo? Okay. It's a really hard question, so if you're tw So if you're 25... But what if, you know, like I'm into all the women, then I'm down... I love Wait, what? What if I'm done? Like I'm into every mo uh, woman. I love everyone over there. You know, there are so many questions comes in my head. Like, what if I? There are nine wives, but I love them. Open mind. Wait, so you you want to be the woman with the nine wives? Yeah, maybe I love them. But you don't want to be with the 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 guy with the nine wives. You don't want to be one of the nine wives. Uh, I'm not going for the guy. Maybe for the women. Okay, so so then you pick you you be on the boat with Jack at fifty. Oh, I'm staying on the boat. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what about you, Angie? What do you what do you think? What would you prefer if you had a choice? I'm gonna be honest. I was 
I was doo, like doo, zoning doo, out. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, so the question is NA. Would you rather be NA? What do you mean? <laughs> NA. Why NA? No. What does that mean? I don't know, guys. I'm Which so means no mind. answer. Yeah. But okay, so just answer why you want to give an answer. Um. They not like NA. They not like us. Yo, what's up with this NA? You want 25% of the ad <laughs> revenue. You're not giving me no fucking content, Angie. Come on, let's go. I am. Wait, hold on. Think we can about be the like, question. You're not funny. It's you're not, not a joke. Funny. Oh my God, Angie, you're so beautiful. It's not a Thank joke. You. Oh my gosh. But yeah. I love Angie, by the way. Yeah. Okay. George are nice too. I'm George is nice too. Sorry, my English yeah, is 50 is 50. Nice. Am I nice? All right, well, it makes me so nice. Sometimes. Go, stroke my ego. Not always. No. Okay, talk about. Nice. All right, go, go, oh, cook, 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 cook. So say all the bad things about me. Go. <laughs> go and shame me in my podcast. Let's go for it. He's trying to put us in the position when we see bad girls. No, that's not happening. George, you are amazing. Why would I say something bad about you? <laughs> oh my gosh, you said something bad and then Jane said something good. That's so I funny. never said nothing bad. <laughs> okay, okay. Tell me what bad I told you about you. You said I'm trying to put you in a bad position. Yeah, that's bad, right? You think so? Of course. Why? You said you you said you cried in the Titanic. Yeah. And then you told me you went to China and you seen nine and you seen a guy with nine wives. Good for him. So I'm just saying, who would you rather be? What position would you rather be in? I answered. No, I know you answered, but I'm not trying to put you in a bad position. But Angie don't want to answer. You don't like the question. Aji. Aji. Yes. Aji. You could be one of the wives yes, and me the other one, and then we Aji. have each other forever. So you guys want to be the wives. Come on, sister. I didn't even answer. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Okay. Uh, all right, so we we're talking about how you're an empath. All right, now, how many relationships have you been in? I had one relationship. We lived together. Really? Yeah. Uh, how did that go? Together. What happened? Well, it had upside down, but it was really exciting in a way because we moved together after three months knowing each other because we lived in a different countries that's good and what country was it in which country we lived yeah in the netherlands so how was it like we met in a surf camp in france and then he was like do you want to stay at my place for a few days in the netherlands and i was like i really like oh, yeah this and then guy. you moved into the yeah you moved in with the guy right yeah the three months three is months. good yeah yeah but you know like from the day we met, we low-key spent every day together. We started traveling around the whole Europe. Was it like a... Oh, that's good. Yeah. How long, how long did you we had a for? lot of experience. I think in that one year, one and a half year, we experienced a lot. Where'd you go? We've been in France, Georgia, Spain, Romania, Hungary, France again, Netherlands, Italy, and like many other places. And what did he do for work? What? What did he do for work? Uh, he's still studying, but he does investment. He always works something, you know. He's a smart guy. Okay, so you you had no idea. What he said. No, I do know what he's working. Is it like a hedge fund? Like, is he like a hedge fund bro? Like remote guys, work? it's just something like what he always was telling me, but I was never concentrating. Okay, 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 good. No, no, good. That's fine. You know, but, it's but like, you just knew he had money. Yeah, of course. Okay, he cool, was cool, working. Cool. He did was did working. did he? Uh, was he? He's doing his master. Okay, well, okay. What about his um? He's uh, studying economics, and he was also working for companies. It's just something. Okay, but good. Like, what was his um, relationship like with his parents? That's the question. Him. Yeah, like I want to oh. know, like, did his father instill these traits in him? Oh, of course he helps him, but he's studying, like, he's okay. working his ass. And his dad is successful too. Of course. Okay. They so are then, both are successful. Okay, so then, was how old was the guy? Uh, ah, no, he's older than me. No, younger than me with one year. Oh, he was younger than you. Yeah, but he like. How long ago? I never date younger guys, but in this case, I was like. He was way more grown in the head, honestly, in a sense, than other guys in that age. So in that case, I felt like age doesn't matter because there are guys who I met and they are in the age 27, 30. They are still kids in their head. He was a really intelligent. He was a smart okay, guy. Okay, so he was intelligent. True. He had money. His father had money. He was able to travel the world. 
I don't right? care about the money. The emotional no, 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 no. Well, well, no, no, well, you, I know for her because what is it called? You know when we were at the restaurant last week? Oh my God. We ran into a guy and he was basically like was... offering her money, money, money. She's not that type. Like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I was just I know. No, 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 no. I would never What's sell myself. Like my dignity is the first. Like once you're going to talk to me like that, that's the moment I'm going to. Yeah, no, I get like, it. If he's old and then he leads with just his wallet, it's like creepy. Yeah. It's, and he's really weird. I don't and, like I, and, I, and I was there, so I, I knew how creepy it was. That's not my point. That's not, that's, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not Josh was it. even texting me. You saw girl, it? are you okay? No, he was texting me like, girl, are you fine? And then I was like, I'm a strong independent. Yeah, you, st- you texted Shut me too. Fuck. I thought you saw him when he was <laughs> They're like, I'm strong and independent. Out. No, no, because obviously, like, you know, you guys come by often, like, these guys really kind of ran out for you guys yeah and then i was like of course i was was like i was like i don't care but then they didn't come back and i knew you guys already told me you were uncomfortable so i was like just just sending a text like yeah i'm uncomfortable because the guy was like i want to take you for a date and i was like i'm like no he's like way old way too old no okay okay cool so okay so like this young guy right the guy that you're with you found him physically attractive at oh, first, yeah, of right? Course. Of course. I would say okay, younger cool. guys, they was, know that they're play, so they'll treat wait, wait, women me, better let me, too. Wait, let me finish. I just had let me finish, to let me finish. Finish. add that in too. I, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, okay. okay. So, no, no, because I was getting to the second part. The second yeah. part, what I was going to say was that you said that he was like more mature. Then his right? age for sure. And then the last thing, what but I said. Not emotionally. Okay. So, he was mentally mature. Yeah. He was realistic yeah. about his life, right? Yeah. Okay. And now you're going to go into emotional. We'll get there. The third one you said basically at, well my question was he's stable like he's able to live this lifestyle that's very hard for most dudes to live because he works hard and because his father instilled these things in him and they're he's both strongest successful head, that guy strongest yeah. head I was really but he's financially like, stable yeah but i yeah, was so really he's secure. looking up to him yeah he was really motivating me in a lot of sense you know mm-hmm. because i know a lot of guys in his age and they don't do nothing you know he was really working hard did you date somewhere. the guys that don't know nothing? No, I would never. Like you I'm an ambitious guy? woman. I have dreams. Okay. And when I'm asking a guy like, "What do you want from life?" I don't know. That's not my kind of guy. I like ambitious person because I am. If I'm stronger than a man, that relationship never gonna be like. That's never gonna work because if I'm stronger in the head, I don't wanna be your babysitter. Like, come on, you should do this. You should do that. Exactly. Ta-la-la. You don't want to be a you don't want to be a mom, a mom to a, a mom. ungrown man that essentially doesn't have his finances together, doesn't have his life together, doesn't look good, right? If he doesn't look good and he doesn't then therefore he can't treat if he can't treat himself right, he can't treat you right. And then yeah. if he doesn't have his life together, like you're just like you're kind of creepy. Yeah, like, get away the from me. Minimum thing I want the man and me in mental state Mm-hmm. Loki the same. All right. So yeah. would you say would you say the guy that you're with is like a one percent man? I never met him. Nobody who would be kind of like him. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So would you say he's like rare? Yeah. Very rare. I don't know about that. One like percent rare. He's special. He's special. <laughs> okay. If he did investing, okay. Uh, maybe you don't know this question. Does he make over a hundred thousand? Yes or no? I don't know about that, but I know that he made a lot, but also it's he like saved a lot. it's trading. It's like yeah. you win and you lose, you know, okay. but I was never really asking about like financial you got it. You got thing it. because yeah. it was you didn't, not... You didn't, you didn't get it and it didn't interest you. Yeah, yeah, yeah you exactly. know, like you I don't need nothing from him, money or anything, mm-hmm. you know. I... But you lived with him? Yeah, okay, but so you, you had know, a home. we were equal, so we paid the rent. Oh, you the both same split the rent? Yeah, we split everything. Like, okay. he's working in the same way, like, how I'm working in the same way. Why he should pay more? Like, I know I had a lot of friends, and the mm-hmm. girls were like... Um, how, how, much was, how much was the rent in the Netherlands, if you don't mind it's, me asking? It's, in the Netherlands, is expensive. First, the place where we uh, was living, it was 1,500 Oh, uh, so it's not Euro. that bad. I mean, compared... Yeah, no, compared to America. Like, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's not bad. So, and... You know, we are still young. Exactly. But we were sharing that. I mean, I'm from Hungary. The rent is mm-hmm. super cheap over yeah. there. So it also depends what you exactly. are comparing the rent. And you wanted to pay the rent, no problem. Of course. And for did, me, did, it's no problem. So how did, that come, how did that conversation come up? Did he ask you or did you just like offer? It was never a question. It, why would it be a question? So how, how, how did you guys figure that out? 
It was never a question, you know. We were so you all... just offered. You're just like, I'm just gonna pay half. Fuck it. It was. We never even offered. It was like not a question. Of course, we were sharing everything, you know. Okay. So, for example, like I live here, right? I, I mean, I don't remember. Okay. You know, it was like two years ago, but. I, I know that it was never a question. It was you know, how long like, ago? Because we wanted to move together. Yeah. So we wanted to do everything to make it happen. So it would be not a question that we're going to be equal in this position. Because yeah. what was matters in that point that we are together. It was not the money mm -hmm. question who should pay more. We want to see each other. Then we're going to just make it work. the money and make it okay, work. Okay, cool. Did you want to have kids with him? I'm too young for that, guys. I was Did you guys ever talk about it or no? Hell no. Hell no? No. Did you guys oh ever talk about marriage? Like, for fun, yeah. Okay, yeah, just, we just, just flirting. Just for fun, you know? Okay, yeah, just for flirting. For passport, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, <laughs> okay. you know, we were just joking. Like, I was 22. He was 21. I feel like, for mm -hmm. me, I was not, not even the type of girl who thinks about marriage since... I'm very Since young, forever. it yeah. was never a dream for me. Like, okay. I was even like, when I'm gonna get married, I don't know. But for me, it's not like something super important. If I have a love in my life and like our love is mutual and he's gonna ask me, I probably would say yes. But I don't want to get married in this age because I feel too young, honestly, for that. Like, I'm a really free spirit, honestly. Okay. Angie, what do you think about this relationship thus far? Just what we've been listening to. I mean, the first time that she described it, it sounds magical. Yeah, so it sounds so magical, it's good. Would you say, how would you rate this guy, just from what you've heard just right now? By the way, your thing turned off. Oh, shit. Oh, we're good. Okay. I'm I so hot. You're I hot? Mean, I mean, like, hot. I'm an You're, like, in a hot seat? <laughs> okay. I mean, what, do you, what do you think? What do you think of this guy? Um, I, I don't really try to judge my friend's relationship. No, no, because, don't judge it. Just like yeah, I, mean, I don't even try to rape because it's I don't. Me and her, we, we probably want different things out of life, and maybe we don't have the same qualities that we look for in the guy. Okay. I'm not saying that he doesn't present any of those, but um, okay. what are some of the qualities? I don't have any uh, opinion on that. All right, all right, fine, fine. What are some of the qualities that you have for a guy? That just I you, have? yeah, just you, just you, yeah. Um, well, I mean, I've seen some. I don't know. I, I mean, if I'm gonna give a humble response here, mm -hmm. I'm not. Only my husband will know. So like, that's like no, no. That's actually a great response, though. Yeah, because I don't. That's a great response. I'm not even gonna lie. I know how I am as a. Uh, I don't. I know how I am. So like, what is it called? I'm not gonna say how I don't know like what is it called like I can say all these things that I am and then when I go inside the relationship maybe I'm not doing this or that so yeah, you're like, choosing it's something just, different yeah you might say something and then you choose something different yeah. you know what I'm trying to say yeah that makes sense no 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 that of course that happens that's why I say like uh, women will say one thing but do the other right so that's why we can't really so much listen to what you have like we can't for example me being in a relationship I've been in a relationship for a long time when you're in a relationship, a lot of the times we guys, we try to try to rationalize things with women and we like, y'all don't get it. Like, it's like, it's not, it's like not that like y'all don't want to get it. It's that the way to communicate with you guys is better to communicate with you when like, you're um, like, when we talk to you emotionally, like, like in terms of how you may feel and we try to present it more from like an emotional way where you could understand it like deep down instead of just trying to be logical about it. Because the thing is that, like, we try to be logical about it. We're almost forcing you to agree with us. And every time we try to force you to agree with us, like, logically, you guys just shut down. Like, I think women in general, they just shut down. So, but when we hit, when we hit you where, it, like, the emotion is, when we put ourselves in your shoes, and we're like, hey, I can see this point of view, then I could start to, like, unravel, like, all right, this is how you could follow me. You get can what I'm saying? Can you provide, like, an example of this so we could do a better judgment? Because... Yeah, yeah. It, it depends no judge. Literally. Always be just uh, curious, okay, guys? Yeah, no, no, exactly. So, don't be judgmental. So, yeah. Always so, be curious. Exactly, exactly. That's actually a good point, right? Because, like, so when you're having hard conversations in a relationship, so when a guy is stating boundaries, for example, this is my example, right? When the guy is stating boundaries in the relationship, a lot of the times, 
Like, I'll find myself just being like, this is the way or the highway. I'll give you an ultimatum. Like, either I'm doing, we're doing it this way, or you, like, you can follow it's yourself. It's not equal. Like, you guys are talking about your own boundaries. It's not, it's just like, guy, I mean. No, no, I so yeah, so, no, so yeah, so my, my example is, my example is that, like, when guys try to be so forceful in relationships, we'll be like, it's my way or the highway, right? We'll give you that ultimatum. And a lot of the times, this is, this is, what, this, this is one of two things that will happen. The girl will shut down, right? And then she'll have to decide, do I trust him and do I respect him enough to follow him, right? Like you said, my husband will know, right? That's a good, that's actually a good response. Now, the second option is that maybe she respects you, but she's not sure if she can trust you because she doesn't really understand what you're saying because she fails to listen. Like a lot of times you'll get defensive instead of like, Maybe I should put myself in his shoes, like you said, empathy, right? Maybe I should see where he's coming from. So a lot of times when guys say it's this way or that way, right? The girl will just like, like uh, she'll just she'll she'll get defensive. She'll be like, "You're trying to control me. You're just insecure." She'll throw the shame, the guilt, all these accusations, and ultimately what happens is the relationship falls apart, even though the guy had standards. And it might have been for the uh, um, these standards might have been good for the relationship as a whole. Are you, you talking more of like what you're wearing, what time you go out, or like yeah. your relationship with boys? Like what's those are good. Exact? Those are good. So yeah, are those are those is, standards? That are those is boundaries? some boundaries. Are those boundaries? Talk about yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, those are common boundaries. Exactly. Yeah, that's why I was like, exactly. what exactly are you saying? Exactly. Because so like imagine, I see what you're saying, yeah. but at the same time, if a guy have all these freaking boundaries and yeah. they're not reciprocating, that's controlling. Yeah, it is. What do you mean? Okay, what do you mean by reciprocating? Reciprocating. What do you mean? That's, okay, so like, I say, so let's say let's say let's do, let's just do like I say. My standards are um, like if a guy don't go says, clubbing. like if a guy says, I don't want you to have any guy friends. OK, yeah, cool. Then don't have any girlfriends. And then how about if they have like a long time relationship? I know some guys, they have like girl best friends from freaking middle school or high mm -hmm. school and they don't want to cut them off, but they don't want their girlfriend to have any boy friends. Yeah, I guess it's a double standard. Yeah, right? that is. That's what I'm so, talking about. Like you have to reciprocate. Like so, if you're going to have these I, boundaries, make sure you're also doing it. Like also like for him to say, oh, I don't want you to go outside like partying. OK, then okay. Don't, okay let's 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 let's, let's stick. Let's stick. Let's stick to the first one about the friends thing. I think it's being insecure. Oh, hold on. Give me one second. Yeah, let me, let me, get, let me get to what, she, let me yeah. get to what she's saying. Let me get to what she's saying because so let, let's let's handle this real quick so the first thing you said was when a guy has a boundary and his boundary is you can't have male friends but i can have girlfriends right that's a double standard right right and that's that wouldn't be fair correct right that's not fair right wait say it again a, a double standard a double standard means i can do something you can't do it yeah yeah and that's not fair yeah right so a lot of the times when these conversations are had now in this specific scenario i'm gonna say I wouldn't agree with the double standard. Double standards do exist in relationships, but I, no, I'm actually, I'm saying I, I don't agree where it's like, I don't think a guy can tell a girl don't have male friends. Yeah. And I don't think, and wait, wait, listen, 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 listen. I don't think the guy can also say I'm allowed to have girlfriends. Like, I don't think that double standard is a good double standard. I think there are double standards in relationships for a reason, right? And we can get to that. Like which one? Yeah. But, um... I mean, you have, you'd have to really ask me because I don't know from the top of my head. Okay. But this specific one about friendship, I would say, here's why. Because ultimately, I'm going to be honest, as a guy, like if I have friends that are girls, right? The way I look at um, relationships between men and women, right? It's either you're my coworker, right? Or I'm trying to fuck you. Like I'm dating it you. It goes the same yeah. way as girls. Ex exactly, it exactly. So that's, what, so that's what I'm saying. A guy can't sit here and be like, Oh, I can have girlfriends because in my head, it's like if a guy says that, either she's your coworker, you're working together, you're doing something, right? Or you're working with each other, you're collaborating, or like I'm trying to date you. Like it's one of those two because I don't believe in like friendships between men and uh, girl, girl, girls and men. Because the guy with the I mean, it's different. Like yeah. I said, people. Yeah, yeah, no, no. A everybody, lot of people they want different, different things. But don't, in life. don't. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Nice I didn't. That's what I'm saying. Is, don't, you know? don't. Your, your standards are your own. Yeah, don't be, don't course. be ashamed don't because ashamed other people have different standards, right? Yeah. And like you said, don't judge anyone else for I'm having not, their standards not, too, right? No, and you're not. You're not. The reason why, like, said that is cute i mean the reason why i said like everybody wants different things in life is yeah. because we are all different and all yeah. complex to yeah. what yeah. we want in but, life some people they don't believe in marriage yeah. i mean we're in freaking new york 
people are freaking 30 something and they don't want to get married and that'll be different to somebody who grew up traditionally and like when yeah. they get out of high school or college yeah everybody has their marriage. own and everyone yeah. has their own excuses i'm not i'm, I'm not judging but i don't i set boundaries for myself and i hope you don't judge me too that's oh, why i'm just like oh yeah my yeah God. but no, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna no, judge because i know some people they'll be like oh no, 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 she no, think no, she's too yes, good or no, like stop the cap yeah. i'm gonna judge but i'm gonna make you laugh while i'm judging okay oh you're not funny you're not funny Say it louder. That wasn't even loud enough. You're not <laughs> funny. He's really not funny, y'all. Swear. Okay, okay. Oh but God, but they're always smiling. No, they're always no, laughing. I don't care. Because he's I don't dumb. Care. Here, <laughs> here, drink more. Drink more. No, Wait, I'm just I wasn't hearing until this moment. I just started to hear what is going on. It's no, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. We're, it's we're a fine. nice setup, though. It's really good. nice. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. But uh, I don't like guys who's controlling. That's a strange No, I love being controlling. I think that's completely secure. What do you think your weaknesses? Because you, you are girlfriend, right? Y'all are on and off. No, why are you controlling the whole scenario? Let's get into that, George. What? Let's get into. I'm the host. I have to. I want to get into. I have to control the conversation. I want to. Do y'all want to hear about his girlfriend? How they go on and off? Like, let's talk about that. No. No, I'll talk. I'll talk about it. I'm not afraid to talk about it. I'm not ashamed. Don't worry about it. But let me finish this conversation yeah. real quick because we, we haven't even touched her, her point of view because she might have a different point of view yeah. from us, right? I and I'm sure you do. All three of us has different point, point of views, view. yeah. No, I think me and Angie have the same point of view because oh. cause she's saying that if, you, if, I, if I can't have male friends, then my husband shouldn't have girlfriends either. And I agree with that Yeah, but because it, a guy it, is going to try to fuck the girl or he's going to work with her. Yeah, it's but like what you said, I agree like what you said with coworkers because... Um, it de- also depends like what your career is because you are going to have to mingle with opposite gender. Exactly. So I do understand what you're saying. It's either co-worker exactly. or like, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> this whole thing fell apart just now. Oh my gosh. He's not funny. That's fuck. He's not. <laughs> is this karma? What have you done? Okay, you know what? That works for now. <laughs> This whole thing, so like, uh, this thing was fucked up. I know. Did y'all DIY, DIY that? Yeah, I did my Oh, makes sense. Well, today was a day, it just said fuck it. You know what I mean? It must be a special day. Alright. Well, anyways, okay, okay. So look, so we're getting back to the conversation of the whole uh, male and friendship dynamic. Me and you both agree. Did it go soon? Okay, let's finish this conversation real quick. Um, okay, so me and you both agree. And my perspective is, like I said... Now, from the girl's perspective, like uh, thinking as a guy, right? It's if I have a girlfriend, the reason why she can't have male friends, it's very simple. It's because one, I need to know who the guy is, right? I need to make sure he's not trying to hit on my girl. I need to make sure he's not trying to take my girl from under me. I need to make sure my girl is not um, telling him shit about our relationship behind our back. Like if, like if me and her are going through something, she's not going to go tell him. I need to make sure this guy's not single and just looking for pussy or like trying to be desperate or he's trying to a lot of guys take the angle of I'm going to be your friend and then at your most vulnerable moment yeah. I'm going to try to fuck you. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's very true. So that's why when I'm in a relationship, I need to know the guys that are around you and why they're around you. If it's for work, cool. I'll meet him first. I'll approve. You have to ask me for permission and then our relationship is secure. So that's why when you guys said like, oh, like it's an insecurity, it's not insecurity, it's coming from a secure place. Because you want a man to be territorial around you. you and, not in a, and not in an abusive way. There's an abusive way, and then there's a way where it's healthy for the relationship as a whole. Yeah. Right? So the way you, you, the way you have a relationship healthy is when you communicate boundaries with each other. Communication is the key. Exactly. For everything, every kind exactly. Of now, now when a man sets a boundary and the woman doesn't adhere to the boundary either he didn't communicate it correctly she doesn't respect him therefore in my opinion i think a guy should never force a girl to make to to do something if she chooses to disrespect the standard and uh and not listen to you i believe the guy should just like not not make her that girl not um not prioritize her as a girlfriend anymore i think he should just be like yo let that girl go yeah so break up not cheating right is that what you're referencing well most guys, what they will do is, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys, just so you understand, is that if a girl, if, a, if you're my girlfriend, right, and then you start to act like you're single and you start to disrespect our boundaries, I might just hit you up a little less. You might just come over. I might just fuck. 
and then you might think we're in a relationship, but I'm like, nah, I'm still fucking other bitches. You get what I'm saying? B because I'm not going to lose pussy, but if you want to leave, you could leave at any point. Like, the door's right there. Mm. You get what I'm saying? But if you're not going to respect me, like, the door's right there, you could dip. I feel like... You know what I'm saying? For, I, in that situation, would you make it clear to the girl, like, hey, I'm not feeling this somewhere, or are you taking no, no, advantage No, 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 because I might, I might still want to fuck. Yeah, so that's I'm, what I'm saying. You're no, no, taking so I'm saying, advantage I might, of I might still, still... Of course I'm taking advantage, but yeah. the thing is that she's coming to me. I'm not chasing her. So mm -hmm. it's like, if you don't respect my boundaries that I've laid out for you, you're just getting downgraded. You oh. get what I'm saying? And most guys don't operate the way I do. You know, most guys are just going to chase you. Most guys are going to be like, please, babe, I'm so sorry I set these standards. And they're going to be pussies. They're going to cower out, and you're not going to respect them ultimately. And the relationship gets ruined over time. Mm -hmm. So that's why, like, when it comes to security, you have to understand that men have standards because they're territorial, because they want to make sure the relationship lasts. In most cases... In most cases, I'm not saying every case, in most cases, the guy wants to make sure that the girl doesn't put, her, put herself in a position where she's yeah, going to be taken right. advantage by another guy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, now you're drinking less? Okay. That's yours. Yeah, sure. Drinking on my cup. Okay. So now, what are your thoughts on uh, friendships and all this? Explain it to me. Go for it. So I only can talk about my experience. Exactly. Yeah, and for, for me... I have a lot of friends, boys, and I know them already like seven years. So we met when I was around 15 yeah. and never nothing happened between us, not even a kiss. Uh, I feel like we kind of grew up together and I would never cut them off. Mm -hmm. I understand when you are in the relationship and you, I don't agree to meet that time new girls and guys. Yeah. But I would never cut off my seven years of friendship. And when I had a relationship, the first thing was when my boyfriend came to visit to my country, I introduced all my friends to him. And there were a bunch of guys. Yeah. Okay. We are like 10 groups. Most of them are guys. Yeah. And they loved each other. None of my friends ever said nothing bad about my boyfriend, honestly. Okay. So they never tried to uh, turn things uh, different ways and I was okay. really happy um, but you were looking out for that right you yeah, were aware of, of that course, okay of good, course. good so good, if good, like good. my friend would be like I don't think he's the right guy for you no like my closest friends were like funny this guy is so great like oh my god if I would be a girl I would go for this guy a hundred percent you know yeah so maybe my boy ex-boyfriend wasn't really liking all of the guys. Did, did he did he state that? Did he publicly did he, he just like communicate told me he to doesn't you? really like that guy, for example. But okay. for example Why um, did he say that? Why uh, did he say he didn't like that guy? He said uh one of the guys, but he's not the closest friend of mine. He said like I think he wasn't really liking him for some reason, but uh I don't know exactly, honestly. Okay, and he never we, communicated to yeah, you? Yeah, because that guy, for example, how we met each other, I went with two guys yeah. uh, to uh, the surf camp, right? And he doesn't like one of those guys who was there, you know? But that guy is not my closest friend, you know? We are just sometimes, like, in the same, like, uh, people, with the same people. Okay. <laughs> so... All right, he didn't like he didn't like one of the yeah. many guy friends that you had, but yeah. he he met all of them, right? Yeah, he okay, met good, all good, of good. them. Okay. And then he never communicated to you why he didn't like them. He just said he didn't like them. Yeah, because uh, the person who he was not liking, he's not my close friend, so okay, he's good. not in my. And then what was your? Friends. What did you tell like your? We, what, what, like you know. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you tell your boyfriend when he communicated that to you? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. What would your response be now? Like, I got you 100%. If it's your opinion, like, I accept. Yeah, now what if But after that, I never uh, meet the guy again. Okay, fair, fair. Now, okay, now, now let's pretend, like, the scenario Since is happening. Never met. Let's, pr let's pretend the scenario is happening again. I'm your boyfriend, and I say, uh, this guy right here, I don't trust him. He looks like he has a different agenda. You can't hang out with him anymore. What's your response? I don't date guys who telling me what to do. Cool, so you just dip. No, it's not about that I dip, but I like if we talk tr truly, but if a guy gonna say, you cannot meet him anymore, I'm not meeting guys, in my opinion, yeah. who would hit on me. That yeah. guy never hit on me, you know? Okay. I know him many years, you know? He, that guy was hooking up with my friend, and he was there also. 
Okay. I was about to say that's probably not the reason why they broke up. Right? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not but saying that. I'm not saying that is. I'm, 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 I'm very. All. Right now, we're just He's thinking. Just boyfriend for. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Right, right now, right now, this conversation is not about your, uh, but your relationship. Me, the conversation is like, about like male and fr- male and female friendships. In general. In general, yeah. Just in general. It depends. Like if I'm starting meeting a guy while my relationship, I would never do, do that. You know, I don't think it's right to do. Because it's like you start dating someone, but like all friendship, I would never cut them off. And the guy, my ex-boyfriend, he had also friendship like from childhood with a few girls, with not much. I was never telling him to cut them off because I understand there is a whole history behind. It's a person who you always can turn to. It's a person who knows you very well. And mm-hmm. it's, it's like seven years, you know, that's a long time, I feel like. Okay, yeah, no, so in those cases... I don't like when th- someone is... If I, if I was a guy, and let's say I met I'm a girl... I'm not dating guys like you. I no, 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 I know, I know, I know. And it's not because, it's just like, I like my freedom, I like my friends, I'm traveling a lot, I would never cheat, I would never done any of I know, but those l- l- listen things. to what I'm going to say, because you're assuming what I'm going to say. So what I'm going to say is that if I were a guy, with the same stand, I mean, if I were me, and I met a girl, like, in your scenario, right that had friends from like seven, eight years, right? Yeah. And then we're dating, we like each other, you move in. I meet these guys that are your friends, right? Yeah. I scope them out and I see what their intentions are from my perspective as a boyfriend. And then let's say I like all of them, right? Let's say they're all cool. Yeah. I don't get no weird vibes off them. They are cool. Right? They're not hitting you up friends. in the middle of the night. You're not sitting here talking about a relationship behind our back. Like they don't give me any weird vibes. Then. When it comes to the man, for me, I would ask myself, am I willing to tolerate this? Like, how much is it really willing to affect me in the long term? Because if I'm going to get into a relationship with this girl, right, I need, I need to be able to accept that, this, that she already has these friends and they're not trying anything crazy. So for me, it would, so from, from my perspective, if I choose to stay with you, I don't see no reason why you should get rid of these guys yet. Right. So I would have to accept it. But if I see a reason and I tell you the re- and I try to communicate the reason as calmly as possible and then you choose not to go about it, then you could decide what you want to do. And my decision would be you're getting downgraded. You get what I'm saying? I never had this experience, honestly. So I don't know how would I. Choose, yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying this for the, the right for the guys out guy there. I date. It's the type of guy whose my friends are, because for me, it's really important. My friends and my you date guy, your friends. No, I never dated none of my friends. But for me, my friends are my family. And I'm not joking, honestly. Like, for example, my best friend's family are my family. You know, if I have a problem, I'm turning to my best friend's dad and mom. And for example, when I'm going back to my country, I'm staying at my best friend's place. Mm -hmm. And when, for example, my uh, ex-boyfriend also came to visit to Hungary, we stay in uh, my bestie's place and it's a him you know he offered us the room to stay for example so you know yeah. if like i'm really trying to do everything to make you comfortable to make it understand mm-hmm. that like if i would hide something i probably never would introduce my friend but i have nothing to hide i want if you guys have a good um yeah. a lot connection of, a, a lot of the times when with these specific difficult scenarios that you have right that's a very yeah. specific scenario it's not that the guy wouldn't trust you. It's that if the guy doesn't know the other guy, right, he wouldn't trust him. And he yeah. definitely, I would not trust, I don't care how long, if my girl has known this guy for eight years, I would not trust her living, uh, sleeping under the same roof as him if I just met him once. Like, I would not trust that at all. You get what I'm saying? Like, to me, yeah. that's like, it's not a red flag. It's more like, yo, like, should I, how much do I really care about this girl? If I really care about her, I care about her safety and I care about this dude. It's not that I don't trust you, is that I don't trust the position you're putting yourself in. You get what I'm saying? Like that, so that's that's the way a guy would think about it. You know what I'm saying? Like so that's not insecure, that's being really secure. Like he's really analyzing, assessing the situation and looking at what's best for the relationship. Depends because you know, I feel like sometimes people are too over controlling and there is a minimalistic control. I think it's fine. 
but also there is a minimalistic jealousy where it's fine but i have friends girls and yeah. for example they are like i'm like let's go let's have a lunch and they are like no i cannot because my boyfriend would think i'm with a guy I like that. i have more friends girls that. who's beautiful. afraid of going out even with girls because they I are afraid I'm, I'm sure those girls are like, happy women they are not they constantly yeah, constantly having problems but they are like they always telling me that they are really in love with the guy but they are not happy anymore but i could never live a life when the guy is that over controlling when i remember i went That's to my friend woman. five minutes to the store five minutes to the store mm -hmm. and i was like let's just have a seat for 10 minutes let's have a yeah. drink or whatever and he was like yeah. she was like no i have to go back and i was like that's just 10 minutes more because we were like having a honey holiday and the guy went up to the room and i was in another hotel and that was just 10 minutes yeah. you know we just so here this is that's a good example like, no i cannot that's a good example i'll give you i'll give you some scenarios around that example because you give me a specific example i don't know their situation I don't know anything about them, but I'll explain to you from both sides and I'll explain to you what is insecure and what is secure real quick I'll just explain to you. Okay, so for example In this in this scenario an insecurity would be that if the guy If the girl cheated on him or if the girl was talking to another guy or if the girl they the, both cheated Okay, okay good. So that, that's what I'm saying. So that's exactly why multiple times. So that's exactly why the guy is that controlling because he if the guy started listen listen though. Yeah. When the guy, when if a woman cheats on a guy, right? What I would tell guys first. doesn't guy matter. Doesn't matter. First. If the guy, if a girl cheats on the guy, the relationship is over. Regardless of, doesn't matter if he cheated first, the relationship is over. Like in the guy's head, the relationship should be over. Okay. Now, they both cheat on each other. That relationship shouldn't be shouldn't be valid. And the reason why the guy is insecure in the scenario you're speaking about is because he can't even trust that girl. And she follows him, main, probably, I don't know the scenario, probably because he's either really good looking or he has a, a very stable life and the girl, or the girl is so attached to him that she's afraid to be with another guy or another guy won't take her seriously as the guy she's with. So those are many different scenarios. Yeah. In, in which the girl case, will just stay in this toxic relationship. Two scenarios are true. The guy is financially stable and the girl is really attached. Yeah. You know, but what okay, was good, the yeah. problem, I feel like, in this case? The guy from the very first start was like that, you know, but the girl already was falling in love with him. Mm -hmm. And why the guy was like this yeah. to her, it's not because of her, it's because the other relationship he had before so the guy was bringing with himself this kind of experience to that relationship how, how what was the age gap between them that is an age gap there was an like, age gap yeah 20 years 20 years age yeah. gap oh yeah so definitely got definitely but got my you. friend is really loves the guy like no job. yeah is he good looking like, not to is me he tall? yes to her okay so he's tall and he's good looking to her okay so she so that's what i'm saying her i just scenario, feel like my friend deserves much better yeah, you, you can feel that way. I feel like my friend doesn't respect herself enough because she deserves much better. No, if you, you no, respect no, you, you yourself know, no, enough, no, no, you no, no, no. Let, let me let me high. explain to you. Let me explain to you. It's not that your that your friend doesn't respect yourself. It's just already too late because no, you're it's not too late. It's be, it's not because she's attached. Well, yes. Oh my she, god, I really have to go. Sorry, sorry. I'll just finish this up real quick. Okay, five twenty. Because okay, uh, the original right. plan was. For, for 40 minutes the, yeah no worries time, yeah we're, we're already off we're already off all right now this is a good conversation though we didn't even we didn't even get to the, any of the fucking topics real quick that's crazy so um okay so just to finish that that quick scenario it was the reason in my opinion i don't know your friend i don't know anything about her i'm just thinking out loud because you told me that she finds him physically attractive she's attached to him they've been together for a while they've been cheating on each other the thing that women don't understand about female nature is that the women essentially when she stays in this toxic relationship is because she has a dark energy a dark nature that she's attracted to okay so she might like she might now be attached to these behaviors you get what i'm saying i think it's also and she just keeps going back to it like she needs that thrill of like we're gonna get into a fight 
and then we're gonna have sex. I'm afterwards. sorry, but this ca- in this case, many times I feel like true how we were treated as a child, like how we were treated yes. as a child. Yes. And then it, it goes back. That's yes, what we're gonna back. be attached when we're gonna get get so older. Yeah. When we're gonna get older, I see many friends who was getting abused when they were kids, unfortunately, and it's super. But then, sad. but then, but or then they, they like the abuse the when parents. they're older. They like you know, the abuse when they're older. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. and it's so true. It's not like it's low-key how we raised you know because that's the attachment we saw when we were kids you know or we were we were getting from our parents and that's how like when there is gonna be a guy and who was really treating you so nice but your your parents but you see every woman beating your ass off every every you're gonna be like oh love i don't know what does that mean so yeah. you're gonna be running away and you're gonna run to a guy who's gonna beat your ass off exactly but the thing is not that great she's gonna like it you know what i'm saying like behind closed doors she's all the trauma she's faced sexually that shit arouses the fuck out of her but in like, the same time they're that. suffering but then there's exactly but then they're suffering that's why it's toxic beha- they have toxic behaviors yeah. right so this is just what you get exactly used but now to. but now let you me cannot accept the exactly. real life because it's like what is this? You don't know. Exactly, but now, now let me explain why the girl in her scenario is not that she doesn't respect herself. M- mostly, it's not mostly that. It's mostly because one, she sees a pattern that she's consistent to, and her pattern of like these behaviors of like controlling, she kind of likes it a little bit because if the guy wasn't this controlling, then she would just do whatever the fuck she wants. You get what I'm saying? And that's why she stays there. And also, she realizes that no guy is gonna no guy is gonna take me as seriously as this guy is dealing with me, and that's another reason as to why she stays. You know what I'm saying? Now, should they be together or not? We all know we don't want to be in that relationship. Yes or no? Yeah. Right. No, none of us want to be in that relationship. Because I'm gonna go. I have only one thing to say: that yeah. like every relationship is really different. Every relationship, like the people, has different boundaries, and I think it's. Yes, because fine. Yeah. Totally, because yeah. we are living in a diverse world, uh, and I wanted to say something, but Loki, my thoughts is yeah. just. Yeah. No, right. so uh, we need to bring back the patriarchy. Fuck them. No, I'm joking. Okay. So when it comes to relationships, right? Communication is the well, communi- most communi- important. Communication is important. Is not the most it's important. It's like in every kind of relationship with your family, with your friends, is, with your here, co-workers. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Yes, communication is important in life. I yeah. agree with that. That's and what definitely a priority. But I was going to say in relationships, right? Is the most important thing in a relationship, regardless of communication, is first and foremost, because remember. Have you ever been with a guy, right? And you guys, maybe you guys get intimate, you guys like each other, right? And then the relationship question hasn't come up. Have you ever found yourself liking a guy so much where you're like, what are we? Do you, or do you see a lot of women finding themselves in that position? Well, the guy asked me. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. The guy asks you, will you be my girlfriend, right? He asked me, what about if we... Me and you gonna be us. That's how he asked. Me. He asked you what? If, oh, gonna be us? Yeah, he was like, "What if me and you gonna be? be us. Are we gonna be us?" Okay, he's really he's, he's really egalitarian. Okay, egalitarian means like you guys think very equally. Yeah. Like you guys are very fifty like, fifty. Yeah, the guy was. Even though he was making way more than you, even though he had a job, even though he's mm-hmm. taller than you, and in more terms, more intelligent they, financially. He said even he's taller than you. Does that hurt you, little short man? Who me? Yeah. No, no, no. But he is. That's a fact, right? Like, yeah, I'm not. Dating but I'm not. Gonna, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I like to date short girls that are shorter than me. I'm gonna be honest. Of you course. Right? Yeah. No, no. But, but. Do but, you think it's true? What but they I've say hooked about up. Short men being angry, have the anger issues. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. No. We definitely. No. We. No. No. We do. But it's not insecurity. I, it, well, no, no. It might, we might act it out as an insecurity because we have a chip on our shoulder, right? Because, dude, like, I'm gonna be honest. Like, dudes that are short, guess what? when you deal with other dudes, they tend to be disrespectful. Yeah. So guess what? Yeah, you yeah, need to yeah. speak up for yourself, yeah. right? You're not gonna let a tall dude speak down on you, especially if they're acting stupid. Like you need to be able to call them pussies. When you call them pussies, you're gonna get into a fight. When it gets to the fight, who knows how to fight better? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, as a <laughs> short dudes, example me, yes, we have a chip on our shoulder, but we need to be able to be good at physically defending ourselves mentally defending ourselves and verbally communicating that's why you got you that boxing room 
That's why I got, well, I got the bike, I got the boxing room. Y'all know I fight. Like, I do it all. I do it all because I believe that self improvement is so important, whether you're yeah. short, whether you're tall. But for a man, so when I was, when I was going back to originally, when it comes back, to, when it comes to relationships, yeah, two, minutes. two minutes, listen, when it comes to relate, I'm cooking right now. When it comes to relationships, more than communication, communication will happen throughout time because when you're young, as a man, when you're 18 years old, no matter how much communication you have, it's not going to keep the girl around. You might get the girl, but you're not going to retain her. The most important thing you could do as a man is one, have standards and boundaries. Two, put yourself in a position where you're financially stable, where you have your own place, where you're able to set down ground rules, where you're able to build on a family, right? Three, you have to get in shape because if you respect yourself, other people are going to respect you. If you're a fat fuck, right? And I'm fucking smelly and I'm hitting on you, bro. You're, you're gonna, gonna get canceled. You're, you're gonna be, 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 you're gonna be like, you're gonna be like, eh, right? Immediately. That's her first, that's her first reaction is eh, because that's female nature. You judge men way more than we judge you. Not instinctually. You judge us by the, by, like, 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 like you said, I we think- don't even have to say three words. If, if I was six foot something, right? And I, I was really good looking on a beach. I think there are a lot of men I, who's really judgmental. Yeah. No, of course. No, men are judgmental. I'm saying I that. I know a lot. I'm saying that like when as, it comes... As a freaking black Listen to woman, me. there's people who won't date me because they're colorist. Listen to me. Open up your yeah. DMs. You, you open talking? Up your, open up your DMs and we'll see all the guys that are willing to put all that shit aside. And you're not willing to date one of them Everything because they're ugly. Everything you your perspective. But as no, that's not my perspective. Open up your DMs. So, open up your DMs. That's her DMs. I'm yeah, honest. no, as I'm saying. <laughs> but open up your DMs too, right? So we'll see how many guys hit you up. Right. And a lot of these guys, you leave them on red. Why? Because they don't respect themselves physically. They don't carry themselves a certain way. Ooh, they, I don't have internet. They're not attractive. Yeah, anyway, I, it's 20. OK, OK, we got to get dip anyways. All right. So like, thank you, guys. So th- that was a wrap up of the conversation. This is a good conversation. What did you guys think about being on the, on the show? Go. Cool. I liked it. It wasn't too controversial. But wow. I saw what you're doing. You're very wow, strategic. Wow. Wow. Oh, he's I'm professional. Smart. He's professional. Very strategic. Okay, would you would you um, ask other girls to come on? I don't have friends. Okay, but if you had friends, whatever. would you recommend they we come on? We can come show? back as another person. Okay, what have you learned on the show? I like to talk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Na. <laughs> Na. Oh my God! All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. What do you think about the host? That George has cute dogs. I think George, he's For a sure. sweet man. He is, but he is a short man, so he's bound Jesus to have. Jesus Christ! He what the fuck? We have anger issues. What the fuck? And he's coming back at woman with this podcast. We are one thousand percent. Yo, fuck y'all, bitches. <laughs> Straight up. And what if your woman Bring was back saying, the patriarchy. What? Wait, wait, fuck wait, wait, feminism. Wait, wait, wait. What? Trump. 2020. No, <laughs> what if your woman would that say woman. you cannot have podcasts with girls? Yeah. What? The what if your fuck? woman would say like yeah. you cannot? Then have baby, we're not paying the bills. Like, what's up? <laughs> Angie's getting twenty five percent. That's a good question. I saw Asam- Asama. No. She knows who I am. She knows what I do. She knows about this conversation. And I uh, didn't know. What do you didn't know? What? No, she's know. talking about his girlfriend. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You don't have to know. <laughs> um. But. Good, good, good convo. Good, good everything. Yes. All right, cool. Yeah, would y'all come back again? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was fast. Angie, it wasn't that bad. Nah, it wasn't I'm that bad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Let's be honest. I'll come it back. It wasn't. It wasn't. It's practice. It's practice because guys. Because they they were expecting the me be on some like fucking fuck y'all yeah, bitches get the fuck out. No, but shit. I was seeing when you did the when you brought up the Titanic, I knew it straight away what you were going to talk about. Like, that's why I say you're very strategic. You have Wi-Fi. Yeah. Okay, can you drop And that is it. Station? But let's be honest, that's what the people want to talk about. I'm not, I mean, I didn't hide it. I told y'all yeah. it was going to be a relationship. It's good. I didn't know, honestly. I was hoping for everything, just not relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get off it, but we were actually... Have, we were, we were hey, I have to even get ready at home. I know, I know. Hold up. Why do you need a... Uh, oh, shit. My, well, I should Hold be up, there in half an hour. You don't want to wear this or no? I'm going for an elegant oh, 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 evening. Jesus. You hear it? That's my song. Jesus. Is it you? Singing? No, it's not me, no. Jesus. Where's the why? Why is this?
friend. To be a whore? <laughs> you <laughs> threw away the gates of heaven with your partner to be a whore? I'm moving my I'm a fucking j <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, You're not funny. <laughs> He's not funny. They were trying so hard not to laugh. God damn. I was not. It was very easy. <laughs> was this let, let him cook? cook? Let him cook now. Let, let him cook now. Let him cook. Okay. I said All right. let him cook. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. If you ever put out on the internet, you have to put my Instagram under. Don't right, forget, don't forget, guys. If I provided you with any sort of value, entertainment, right, or something that you could actually apply to your life, drop a like on the video, all right, or subscribe. Jesus.